Many companies are unable to provide raises or bonuses this year. Some have been forced to cut 401k contributions or are asking employees to pay a higher share of health care costs. Given these circumstances, you might think generating total compensation statements for employees this year would do more harm than good. Why highlight the bad news to employees? It is times like this that a total compensation statement can offer your employees and your company the most value. Keep in mind, a total compensation statement is more than numbers on a page. It is a method of communicating with your employees. Rethinking your approach and retooling your statements can deliver great benefits to your company. Here are some tips for getting the most out of your total compensation statements this year. In the past, companies have focused on employee wealth creation in their statements. Today, a job with medical benefits is something truly valued. Place more focus on the value of the benefit plans your company provides. We live in uncertain times. Employees are justifiably concerned about their jobs and future. Use your statements to communicate what your company is doing to make it in this economy. Stability is a valuable commodity today. Finally, Highlight government required benefits. Legally required benefits such as workers' compensation and taxes are part of the overall investment employers make in their employees. Creating a section for government required benefits will help employees recognize and appreciate the costs. The perception of the value of employment has changed over the last 12 months. It is critical for HR to retool and rethink on how to present this value to your employees. Since 1995, iHouse has provided people, process, and technology services to the human resources, payroll, and benefit industries. We achieve outstanding results for our clients through our unique combination of technical skills and deep domain experience in human capital management. 